there's a brush fire here, there's a mudslide in this part of the country, there's a flood, there's a tornado, there's an earthquake. And isn't it amazing how fortunate we are that these things never tend to happen in the Northeast and never tend to threaten us in, uh, in Massachusetts, these wild acts of uh, nature and so forth. And then from out of a clear blue sky with virtually no forewarning, portions of the city and the region are absolutely flattened and you couldn't tell the difference if it had been an attack or a, a bomb blast here and there. The only difference is it was simply a force of nature with certainly uh, no agenda whatsoever. Such was the course and the, and the destruction and the havoc wreaked by the, the tornadic activity, which is unimaginable. And I'm driving into work and literally looking at the destruction at piles of rubble flanking either side of the, of the road that were buildings, homes, and businesses in, uh, in the South End. And um, I can't say anything terribly original about this or anything that hasn't been said before, but it gives you um, a, a, a view of the true extent of the forces of nature and what they can do. When something like this does occur, you can look to one another, and I think sometimes we are so caught up in our day-to-day -day, uh, lives and day-to-day -day activities that we lose sight of that. It may be sad that it takes something like this to, uh, to reawaken us to it, but whatever it takes, the end result is a very good one, that once again, people can look to one another and not be disappointed. I think when you look at the whole story, amazing is probably the best way to look at it. The devastation that night was amazing to look at, just the utter grief that people had to go through in trying to keep their lives going. It was also amazing to see how people uh, bandied together, came together in, in one effort to make sure that their neighbors, many of whom they perhaps hadn't seen for years, but they did get together and they made sure that they were alive and well and had everything that they needed in order to succeed. Well, the tornado went basically right up Main Street and in urban settings, you would think that that would just destroy lives. It did not from a physical standpoint. It took no lives in downtown Springfield. Obviously, we had the, the two unfortunate deaths in West Springfield, but it could have been, considering an F3 uh, tornado, it could have wiped out an entire city. It did not, and it was luck of the draw. Now, Munson, that's a different story. Munson got hit pretty hard, but again, we hear just incredible stories of people coming together and, and making sure their neighbors are, are, are safe and sound, and the rebuilding process can resume and, and, and get underway. You know, the tornado hit us all in various ways, but all through it, we were there for you here at WHYN News Talk 560 and in various ways. Not only was there information when you needed it when the storm hit, but in the aftermath of the storm, we're there to help in the rebuilding effort in whatever way we can with information and whatever you need. You know, one of the things that uh, a lot of folks are calling in about is how can I help? I mean, what can I do? When you, you look at the pictures on the websites and you watch the news and you see the disaster and you see that people have really lost a lot in this, folks are just wondering what to do and we're just saying donate your time and if, if you can give money, give money. Donate your time, donate your money and also um, you can log on to our website or log on to our Facebook page and we've got different locations where you can drop off food, where you can drop off clothing and or you can call us and we'll tell you where you can help out and where you can donate your time. Every little bit is going to help in every way, shape or form because there's so many people that do need your help. But I know for us and uh, most of the phone calls, emails and Facebooks we've got from this uh, disaster is how can I help?
the, the Pioneer Valley has proven now. that uh, we can pull together no matter what and nothing's going to hold us down and uh, we will rebuild and uh, we'll be back at it. We've been rebuilding quickly. We even got a phone call from a 24-year-old woman who was out hands-on with her two or three-year-old son putting clothing on people, dropping off water, and that was just one example of one young person who's out there doing the best she could to give back, and that's just what Springfield's all about. And that's what we're going to do, too. You know, Mix 93.1 is, uh, is a big part of this community, and after uh, everything that has happened uh, here over the past uh, couple of weeks with the tornadoes and the bad storms and everything, uh, it really is time for the community to come together, and uh, I feel like we're kind of a vehicle for that. Uh, folks are making donations, and they're, and they're helping out their own communities, and it's just been a really good feeling, and, and the stories that we're hearing are really what is special. I mean, people helping people. Even people who don't have much anymore because they lost it all in a storm are helping other people who have less than what they have. So it really is a, it's a, it's kind of a very special time, bittersweet in a sense, I think. And for those of you who have uh, gone through the worst of this tornado, whether it be West Side in, in West Springfield or the South End in Springfield, Munson, Wilbraham, even our friends up in Brimfield, just want you folks to know that you're not alone. Uh, there is a, an entire Western Mass community, uh, an entire community in Massachusetts, and that extends all the way to the Boston area, who care about you and who are, who are raising money and doing everything that we possibly can to get you folks back on track after this devastating tornado. So the most important thing for you to remember at this point is you're not alone and you're not forgotten. You know, I've been, I've been a part of this community for over 30 years uh, broadcasting on the radio. Mix has been here for as long as I've been here. And the folks who, who suffered this, uh, the hurt in the tornado, you folks are family to us. Um, you're not just listeners, you're family. We've spent a lot of time together and uh, we are collecting money to help you out. And let me tell you, you, you may be family to us, but you're family to a lot of other people as well, because I've had people come down here and hand me personally for you a thousand dollars. Here's a thousand dollars that we've raised, whether it be a, a social group or it might be a, a dress down day at work. Uh, there are people that care and care deeply. So, you know, we are one big family here in Western Massachusetts and uh, we're gonna continue to take care of each other until we're through this. Many businesses here in Western Massachusetts have really stepped up to the plate uh, when it comes to uh, making cash donations to the Red Cross and the Salvation Army and helping neighbors and friends here in Western Massachusetts. Uh, our friends at Big Y have agreed and committed to matching the first $50,000 that is donated uh, in Big Y. They have canisters up and, and you'll have a chance to do that. And uh, we've also been collecting money. Uh, now, are we gonna, are we gonna hit that $50,000 goal? Uh, probably is what I'm going to say at this point because the donations have been coming in and, and they have been substantial and I'm very impressed and I'm very pleased and I'm very happy to be part of this with Big Y because if you do the math on this, if uh, we bring in $50,000 and they match $50,000, hmm, let me see, math wasn't my best subject, but that's, that's about $100,000 in donations, which is truly amazing. So thanks and a big shout out to our friends at Big Y. 
Today has been a, been kind of a special day for us. So we have our 13-hour marathon going on to raise money for the Red Cross and the, uh, the Salvation Army. And we've just met so many wonderful people. We've heard so many wonderful stories. Uh, we have our, our sister stations out. Uh, we have stations uh, who are doing the same thing that we are, so we've kind of blanketed Western Massachusetts. But that is uh, today is certainly not the end of our commitment. It really is just the beginning. Uh, you can look for more information on Facebook, and you can always go to our website, mix931.com, where you'll always hear the and find the latest information on uh, what is going on as far as tornado uh, relief is concerned. But again, our commitment to this community is not to be questioned by anyone. We are just proud to be part of this community, and we are very, very proud to be able to help out in this manner.